That is the cruelest question on this list. Thanks to TEDx Copenhagen for sending along these questions about life under lockdown. Hi everyone, my name is Desiree Pellego. I am the founder and CEO of Bookwood. Hello everybody, I am Michael Koval Anderson, urban designer. My name is Adrian McKinder. I am a British writer and performer. Hi, my name is Trent and uh, I work with Orientations and Arrivals uh, for international students. I have a side business called Global Citizen. Hi everybody, my name is Alex. I'm a digital entrepreneur, but what I'm really passionate about is the human potential. Even though we're easing out of lockdown and things are returning to normal outside uh, in Copenhagen here, man, that's still such a cruel question because we know it's not going to be normal tomorrow and possibly for a very long time. So, ugh. but I'll answer the question anyway. I would gather all my closest friends and see them face to face. Um, these past weeks, uh, we have been meeting online, uh, drinking tea, uh, eating lunch together, uh, actually training together as well. And of course, it is, there is some difference seeing them face to face uh, compared to, to seeing them uh, online with a screen in between. If everything went back to normal tomorrow, the first thing I would do is go to the pub and have a pint. I'm in the middle of shooting season four of my TV series, The Life Size City, so I want to get back to that. We're postponed like the rest of the film and television industry all over the planet. Um, oh, I miss my job. I miss traveling to cities around the world, meeting the people who are trying to make their cities better, uh, feeding off of, of their knowledge and their, their inspiration, and documenting it, curating it, and producing another episode, and another episode, and another episode of my TV series. I miss that so much. I miss my crew as well. Um, so I would like to get right back into that as soon as possible. If that was tomorrow, that would be great. To be honest, I don't think I would do anything different. I think there's been a lot of learnings about how to live a life with more love in whatever capacity and expression that we can do that in. But just living forward, taking a bit more risks, trying to get out there and see, see what's going on. I think at this moment, I'm just trying to do the best I can. Man, if everything just went boom, normal tomorrow, I'd just be at the airport at six in the morning, right there. I would stare up at the departure board. I would chew a piece of gum throw the gum at the departure board, wherever it hit, I would buy a ticket and I would fly there. I don't care. I want to get out and see the world and meet people all over the planet. Man, oh, I love traveling and I do it all the time. So this has been, it's been a bit tricky not to be able to do that. Uh, I would be hosting a dinner, the biggest dinner you've ever had um, with, uh, with everything. Um, all from all over the world, everything. Uh, that's what I would do. I would host a, a massive dinner for, for all my mates. I love cooking um, and love hosting uh, with good wine, good uh, good whiskey, um, maybe some cocktails, you know, uh, the whole shebang. So uh, you can technically do that now, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I think it would be something I would do straight away where people wouldn't feel too bad about coming over and, and you know, being more than 10 people in a room. And also, my local wine bar, my God, I miss them. The local customers, the staff, the street that it's on. Oh, but that is next Wednesday. Today's Thursday, so next Wednesday, my local wine bar that I love so much is opening. I'm gonna be there. <laughs>